On new tonight, our Katie Lasso has found out some of their hard work is paying off. Katie. Yeah, and the supervisor of Fairfax County told me just a few hours ago that petition played a huge role in moving this forward. Now this is Lee Chapel Road and some of the concerns behind it are how narrow you can see right there that road is and also these blind hills. And if you notice any kind lack a lack of any kind of lighting. Well, tonight we've learned changes are one step closer. We're going to move forward with looking at eliminating the hills and a source of funding for that. We're going to look at adding street lights. We're going to look at reaching out to the park authority to get some of the trees cleared from the side of the road. Tonight, Fairfax County's board is pushing forward on proposed plans to make Lee Chapel Road safer. But first, an assessment has to be done to see how much water, sewer, and other utilities are under the road, which will take about 60 days. VDOT's evaluating a number of other options, and we're going to get a report on that. We've got a follow-up meeting on Friday. A recent crash that killed two South County high school students and seriously hurt another brought new interest in getting Lee Chapel Road changed. This isn't the only time it's happened. It's happened in the past. Sophie and Mira, who are classmates of the two teens who were killed, created a change.org petition that's grown to close to 14,000 signatures. Please change this road. The father of Ariana Hafsavar, one of the two teens killed, spoke to us shortly after her death. He told me over the phone tonight that they hope these changes will be made so that no other family has to go through the pain they've been through. He also told me he would love to see part of the road renamed after his daughter to memorialize her. That's something we can look into. As for the physical changes, Herity says he had a meeting with Sophie and Mira this week and credits them with helping push this forward. One supervisor said today 14,000 signatures gets our attention. And the girls told me tonight they were really happy that next steps are being taken. And as you heard, the supervisor says their efforts definitely played a role in speeding this process up. Now we are hoping to learn more about the timeline for when we could see these changes on Friday. Lorenzo. Yeah, sad it took this long, but glad those changes are being made. Katie, thank you.